Hey, what's up everyone? It's Spades here with another Overwatch map review. Just a reminder that if you enjoy the content, make sure to hit that sub button to know whenever a new guide or review gets uploaded. So for this video, we'll be going ahead and going over Lunar Colony using Winston and Arissa. So let's get into this. Main? I'm, I'm thinking like a... I'm thinking like a main dude. Right, I'm just gonna throw right there. Let's see what happens. What'd you say? Nothing but dubs tonight. Where are those? Oh my god, we're f fucking New Zealand? Oh, okay, dude, we're already fucking close. <laughs> well, I think it's uh, safe to say there's a reason why we play Overwatch and uh, not teach a geography class. So, uh, go ahead and on attack. You can either do goats or you can run a Winston. It's kind of dependent on what DPS you have. If you have the Widow, you know, Genji, Sombra, Hammonds, uh, Doomfist, any of those like dive type tank heroes, then Winston's the better pick. Um, but if you are running the Ghost Comp, you can go left side and you want to push the point that way, or you can go right side and push into them or under. Those are the two spots you can go ahead and do. But for Winston, it's either if they're on the Bastion Comp, you're gonna go ahead and try and contest oh, point like first, or you're gonna be diving top Bro, right. You help so, us out. see what they have and uh, <laughs> make our decision maybe it from there. Maybe we, maybe we were looking at your house, dude. Now we all know where you live. Already at DC Train's house, dude. Looks like he's got a. So, we see that they okay, have their Arista comp. The so, we're calling to jump the point. Because yep, yep. we want to try and make Arista rotate, and when Arista rotates, uh, then people right are, you okay. know, discombobulated. They're not, you know, all together anymore, so. That's when you want to try and like disrupt their grouping and then take a dive. So the Zarya got isolated, so we focus her. Then we're killing Lucina since he's the squishiest target. Now we're on the Arissa. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it right now. So we saw the Widow that was up top left. So we knew our team could contest the Arissa, and but we didn't want to leave Widow alone since she is gonna be, you know, she can get those picks and everything. So always want to be looking for those type DPS that might be out of position or can it affect the fight like a lot and you want to try and get those guys out of the way Heck yeah. Hey one of those psychopaths that's like dude, Wait that likes to hit other cold fuck no dude I like cold Cause I can always get warm but it's hard to get cold so going ahead and going over onto second point, it's kind of like the same thing. You can either attack from left or right side. So it's kind of depending on where their supports are playing. You want to try and look to, for a dive on the supports. So usually they're onto the Zen, um, and then you want to, after you get a pick from them, then you want to try and stack on point. The reason why you want to stack on point is because the more people you have on point up to three, it makes their respawns longer. No, he's one. So you always want to try and make sure if you're on a two CP map, you want to make sure people are on point, just so their respawns are longer and you have actually have a better chance of capping. Otherwise, they just have faster respawns, and if they get a pick, then that's how you end up losing those uh, fights on two CP. That's what we're doing. We're just contesting point because we know that they have to drop to it. It's like I would go to the snow for the vacation, but I wouldn't want to live in the snow. Oh shit, that quote one, I can run Winston in, into Reaper any day, bro. Not after fucking uh, Reaper patch. That's gonna be a fun time. So now moving on to defense. You can run the same thing as offense where you can do the dive depending on if you have you know the DPS. Uh, dive heroes or you can do the Arissa. I personally like the Arissa comps on defense so many just because there's so slams. much sight lines that they have to push through that you can you know counter ghost comps pretty easily if you have like a junk widow bastion any of that stuff um, in the perfect world you want to have a diva for your off tank just because she can contest the low ground and then fly up and be safe whenever she wants as well as having DM to sustain up on a little bit longer but Hoggy is fine as well. So, what you're going to want to do is play top left with Arissa, which we'll probably be going shortly. And, yeah, we can explain it there. Okay, 
Yeah, I'm gonna create. Yeah, I'm gonna create. Yeah, I'm gonna create. I mean, like 50 degrees. So, here you want to put that shield right on oh, that yeah, edge dude. corner. Yeah. Just because it, it gives the max amount of shield like blocks both left and right side. Here, I think that's and cool. now you that have, cool. you know, field of vision. They have yeah, to go through that choke point. Like you can just mow them down, pull them back, and whatnot. But yeah, they were so halt. So you see them pushing across here, you want to look for that boys. pull. So we pull them all back and the ranch shield is already broken. So that's what you always want to be looking to do as they're pushing through that little corner. You want to look for a pull just to, you got to come back and then they have no shield and then it's just free easy pickings for your bastion to mow them down. Wait, Pog, what happened? Wait, we have a lever? So unfortunately, <laughs> we do have a lever. Wait. Probably DC'd. Which kind of messes up our uh, person that can test point and whatnot. As you can see here, since we're now we have to be the ones that can test point, we're just looking to try and pull them off of our Bastion, but in the end, it didn't end up helping. But he is back now, so. So now that we lost the first point. So up into Winston is usually always the better Bump choice here just because Rissa doesn't really get Rissa, that, uh, you know, much of value just because they can yeah, just yeah, contest point and you once you drop or if you're playing the drop, uh, okay. then they can just speed on top of you. So, so there's really, really a point to playing Rissa on second unless you have bongos, I'm so but we weren't confused, even close, dude. so there was no head. point on uh, staying there. So now we're going to wait for them to drop. We can look to try and book our primal up here. Now once Ryan drops, uh, we see the Zen, Force Trance. Yo, huge purple, bigger, big. So now we got low, so we're coming back to high ground since we know they can't contest us. Uh, and we're dropping back down again once we got fully healed. So we see that Zen is a lone main, so that's going to be a free easy, uh, free easy kill. Right. Whenever you're facing goats, comps, stuff like that, you know you're not going to be able to kill the tanks, but you can get the support kills as a Winston, so you always want to be looking for moments that you can get those, because if you can kill the supports, then you have a better off chance of you know winning the team fight later on, since it's a 2CP stagger fest. Everybody keeps dying though, before we can actually finish this off. I believe you, baby Diva, get that Zen. Heck yeah! yeah. I got two, I killed two. Yeah, I'm on it. Heck yeah! So, we ended up ending holding him off, so either we're going to be playing no, top like on top of that ledge up top left, yes, like or we're going to be playing on the bottom again, and then just waiting for him to drop and then getting back yeah, up on the supports. The hot is fine. So, like looks like we're going to be playing on top of this ledge. This ledge allows you to get on top of the high ground or drop on them without having to use your mobility, so you can use it to escape. So we're sliding off there. They end up all going to point, so we're calling to get on the McCree since he is the squishy target. But we got grabbed off point, which was pretty unfortunate. Maybe we should have taken the fight to point since we were close to the primal. So that's a little bit of a misplay. But it was just a good grab that they got gotten. So now we're going to be heading, running the Orisa comp again since it was working really well. Just we had the unfortunate DC uh, beforehand. So it's going to be the same yeah, as that position, like top left, shooting as they're coming through, and then, like you know, rotating. Shot. If they go to point, then you're going to be rotating still on top of the ledge, just yeah, down the opening, the little opening on, like, on the point. Try getting a onesies. You look like a weeb. It's comfy as fuck. I actually heard onesies are pretty comfy. Oh, I, I was debating getting one, honestly. Cause I, um, when I go snowboarding, 
one of my friends has a llama onesie, and he said it was like the most comfy thing ever. And I, and it's like that was like his first time using it. So I'm like, dude, I might actually get a onesie just because I can use it for multiple things. I can use it when I go snowboarding, and then who knows when else, dude. So as you can see, we're playing on this top left spot. And we're just gonna be trying to break a Ryan shield as they're pushing across, because you know if we can break it, we can go for the pulls pretty easily. And now they have to cut back again. So now we're just gonna be keep on looking to try to do the same exact thing, break shield, get a pick as they're pushing through, and stop their uh, movement. Okay, let's be real, dude. I'm in my house 24/7, seven days a week. Okay, so I don't go outside, so I don't have to deal with. If you're ever on the offense, like how they're playing, and you're against the Mashin, you want to try and go the dive comp. It's a lot more successful against the Mashin, because if you just keep trying to run goats against a good, you know, Bash and Arissa that knows what they're doing, um, it's going to be really hard for you to counter them. Just because, as you can see, we can just rotate stuff. We get the, we can get the damage in pretty easily. There's nothing, nothing much that they can really do against us. Okay, I'm pulling him. Oh, there was uh, nobody there. Oh, 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 help our, help our guy. Oh, okay, there's space, there's space. Oh, careful, uh, careful, uh, I'm very careful, I'm very vigilant. I'm very smart. Playing this hero. Do you go to Big River running? Yeah. And you always want to keep rotating this high ground since this is honestly the best spot. You don't want to push up any closer or any farther back. If I made like I went to, I went to Mammoth. Mammoth was actually really nice, but you had to take like a whole cabin trip out there for big bears. So I can just go and then leave within the day. Just on a hard speed. Wow, what a speed to look like, I guess. That's not the point. That guy's thinking he's a red shell or something, dude. Love me a beer. Yeah, we were gonna make a year chip out of it with my whole group of friends and stuff, but everybody this year couldn't since they're going to. Uh, you can see they're trying to push their left side, so we're just looking to get some pixels. They're pushing through, break their shields, and now we're gonna rotate over to this side, pulling Ryan back to get the most damage on the shield, so he has to kite back. Yo, I feel sorry for that guy, dude. I've, I I have definitely been there, and it's not a fun time. I get some Fs in the chat for that Reinhardt's ult, dude. Oh, Fucking feels bad, man. <laughs> okay, so what do we do when they run in again? Not sure. Hey, if you have a tune day, have a good night, man. Thanks again for drinking all the support today. Big fan, dude. I really appreciate it. So now that we do have the bongos, if they try and push either right side, we're probably going to be looking to use the bongos this fight since we just used the nano whole hog when you're trying to reset some ult economy. You should never really want to stack a bunch of bolts on top of each other. You want to try and, you know, cycle it pretty well. So they're getting grabbed, so now we're using the mongo since everybody survived. And since Bastion is ulting, we want to try and give him some extra support there. Ah, you got buddy. I don't think so. I do. Oh, let's retard. Let's say top, 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 top. So we're just making sure we're letting our team know that we want to play this high ground because if we do play that low ground, then we're just playing into you know their type of comp. We want them to try and waste their mobility and resources to get up top here. Okay, somebody, somebody touch. Oh, okay, tra tracer and whatever go. The rest stay here. Alright, Derek, I think we have to start rotating to like the middle. -ish. I help you. No. Shit. Fuck that one up, boys. It's okay, it's going to point anyways. Uh, shield and two, shield two, shield two, shield two. Shield two. Baby Diva, top left. Follow ball. Hey, is that a boys? Always winnable. Yeah, oh, oh, oh my, oh my, oh my god. I got red Yeah, those are pretty solid, you know, bash and around. Just because they didn't end up, you know, getting the swaps and stuff and that just shows you that 
even if you are running, you know, goats and stuff, it still can get countered pretty easily if you play the right spots. And you know, you know when like where to rotate, when to rotate, you know, what your job as you know, what hero you're playing. So they were just, you know, breaking Ryan Shield, they can't push. Then, you know, going for halts and stuff when they don't have matrix. I would say Genji, but this guy played Tracer, that's fine. I don't want to put him on a hero. No, he's not good with. So since we had and pretty much held them with, uh, you know, the Bastion comp and stuff, um, we're, I'm kind of three three suspecting game. them to go the Bastion comp as well, just because, you know, they're probably going to think all of you, they did it, so we can too. So that's what we're calling to, you know, go the Sombra, Winston right off the gate. And then if not, we can just swap to a different comp afterwards. Since we have a high mobility, we can just get back to spawn pretty quick. Rapage, I am doing a great man. This might look like an easy game. Yeah, no, I could. I have like a lot of other games. I don't know if I should just do voiceovers for all of them or just post games. Yeah, they have the fashion comp. Hog, 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 we need you probably to go. Uh, I guess that's fine. Let's so they have the fashion comp. Uh, we're just going to try and play bottom. Then we look to let me, let me touch. get on point. We have Sombra to touch as well. Then we dive top and rotate. Because in, in the better world, we'd have a D.Va so we can actually dive top right with Matrix. Because since we don't have the Matrix, it's kind of hard to get the okay, dive off because we just get instantly point. melted. So now we're trying to touch point here to try and make oh, them split and not be together. But so D.Va went point. We're trying to go up top. Okay, we're just playing for EMP, boys. What's up, Shadow? So we know that our win condition here is the EMP. We need, really need a D.Va, not a Hog. So we're just going to wait for somebody to get EMP, and then we're going to take a full hard dive onto the Bastion and probably try and get kill him first. Because okay. if you can kill the Bastion, their whole comp kind of falls apart. We need, probably need a D.Va for a dive. Have it, have it. Okay, that's huge. Okay. I'm on there, Bastion. So Bastion's Bastion hacked, purple, he got purple, do you want to try and focus him? Nice. Diva, 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 one. Now we're breaking Diva okay, for the whole hog ult. So since the Orisa was, you know, in her ship form, we went to go ahead and try and get on the Ana. So there's no really point to trying to kill a pocketed Orisa. You always want to be paying attention to if their supports or their DPS are somewhere else. And you want to try and kill those guys first. And there you have it. That's how you can uh, attack in full hold on uh, Lunar Colony. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys, knowing you know when to play Orisa. You know you can run Goats, you can run Winston. You know if you're playing that Goats comp, you're getting countered. Make sure that you know you can swap. Or if you run into these, you know certain types of comps that are pretty uh, pretty strong against Ghost comps, then you know you should probably look, be looking to swap off and not try and just run your head into a wall and uh, keep getting countered by it. So thanks again for watching, guys, and uh, until the next video. <laughs> Peace out.